one good way of picking up consumer sentiment is watch movies. Uh, and what better time than the festive season? Maybe some of the biggest blockbusters from Bollywood, uh, which will hit, uh, some of them have already hit. Um, has, is it panning out as good as the previous festive seasons? Let's hear it out from the country's largest multiplex operator, PVR. Joining us now is CFO Nitin Sood. Nitin, uh, good morning and thanks so much for joining us on Bloomberg Quinn. Thanks for waiting by patiently with us as well, Nitin. Um, you have to admit the last couple of months at least, we haven't found enough reason to go out and see uh, movies. Uh, could that change uh, as we hit the festive season? Uh, is the expectation that the footfalls will increase over the course of the next 30 odd days? Yeah, I think so. We are all hoping for a, a good Q3. Uh, Q2 has been a bit of a setback. Uh, not many films have worked at the box office. Uh, but uh, clearly we're going to see a lot of big films hitting the uh, silver screen in uh, October starting Diwali. Uh, we have Jodhwa 2 releasing this weekend and then two big films on Diwali. And uh, followed by that we have some big films like Padmavati and uh, Tiger Returns in December. Uh, so we're hoping this will be a good Q3, good festive season. Especially since I think last Q3 was subdued. Uh, on account of demonetization and uh, films really suffered at the box office for four to five weeks. Uh, so we are hoping this will be a comeback quarter for the films. Quarter two arguably would have been uh, slightly tough, Nitin, but has it been very bad or on a quarter on quarter basis or a YOI basis, uh, numbers won't look bad? Because if the numbers look bad for you, they look bad for the rest of the industry as well. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I think Q2 has uh, been a bit of dampener. Uh, films haven't worked at the box office. And uh, what we've really seen is that uh, I think uh, the same store footfalls have been negative, while I think all the other aspects like F&B and advertising have been OK and uh, ticket pricing has been consistent. It's just that films haven't worked at the box office. Mm. OK. Uh you know, somebody gave me a very interesting statistic earlier that uh, the second largest QSR in the industry could well be PVR, uh, in a manner of speaking, because of the number of touch points that they have uh, for serving. All the popcorn and the brownies and everything else that they serve that makes everybody fat. Yeah, and the samosas as well. But Nitin, we don't blame you. Maybe that's what the customers want. The question is, uh, are, have FNB revenues, which form a large part of your uh, overall revenue pie as well, have they... Uh, languished a lot more than what your ticket sales would have been because typically they are, there is not a one-to-one -one correlation between ticket sales, footfalls and uh, the FNB revenue. How has that picture been in quarter two? Yeah, so for us, I think FNB has done exceedingly well. Ultimately, uh, I think footfalls make a lot of difference because what we end up ultimately selling is based on number of people who walk in. Uh, but our FNB growth has been very solid. Uh, uh, we, we've been growing in double digits for last several quarters. And uh, that growth momentum continues. And uh, as you rightly said, our FNB piece is now fairly large, about $100 million of FNB revenue. And uh, so we're looking at it a very big focus way, thinking like a, beginning to think like a QSR chain uh, to how uh, to change that statistics. And I, I think that piece is shaping up really well. Uh, all right, Nitin, thanks very much for joining us this morning. We hope your bottom line prospers, but that doesn't spell good news for the rest of our bottom lines. Uh, so thanks very much. That's PVR for you, hoping for a good festive season.